Hi guys. Taurus, you guys are next for a new moon in Libra read. So before we get into the message, let's pray. Great Creator, Father God, Divine Mother, Mother Mary, angels, ancestors, and spirit guides. I just pray and ask for wisdom and clarity. For any messages need to come through for the collective sign of Taurus for this, their new moon in Libra read. In Jesus' name, amen. We're starting out with the Moonology deck. One more shuffle, and we'll get started. All right, so Taurus, here we go. Nothing is yet set in stone, mutable moon. Everyone is getting that. It doesn't matter which sign they are. I feel like the majority of the signs are getting that card. And work through your fears, new moon in Scorpio. So Taurus, what is going on here? I feel like everyone's path or at least the signs that keep getting that card is that the path is uncertain and there's a wide range of possibilities that, that can happen. See, everything is determined upon our decisions forward. So if you are deciding to step out and actually follow this leading that you've had for a while, see that? <laughs> I am paying attention. The only thing that really that you're going to have to be working through, Taurus, is your own fear of what could happen. But see, that's the thing. You fear the worst that could happen and something amazingly great can happen instead. So we'll go to the Oracle of the Radiant Sun. Egotism, number five. And that's Venus energy. Five is... A uh, number of change. Fortune, another five here. Leo, both cards are Leo. Fortune, another change number. Empathy, 12. Moon energy, I feel like this is Gemini. Um, 12 reduces down to three, which is number of divinity. Two off the bottom. Inspiration. Another 12 card. You could be seeing repeating numbers. Whoever this is for, Taurus. Because you have two 12s here and two 5s. One more. 10. Practicality. 10 is closing out of the cycle and beginning of a new cycle. Now look. I, I'm going to say it this way because I feel like this is what this is. You're worried about money. You're worried about your career. You're worried about the path and just making money, okay? There's something here that needs to change where it's, and I feel like the change is happening in the energy of this new moon, where your heart is being directed elsewhere. The empathy card is seeing beyond your own troubles. Like seeing, it's the equivalent of you're standing in a forest and the forest around you is Bill's, um, you know, daily weight that is on your shoulders. Bill's work. I have to take care of this. I have to take care of that. I have to get out of this hole. I got to get out of that hole. Empathy, I feel like, is rising above that and taking a stance above it. Because what you're doing when you take a, you know, rise above your own instead of getting bogged down with your own problems, you rise above it to see that others are going through things too, and others are going through far worse. Now, that's the energy of this new moon, that you're walking into this, and I feel like it's a new chapter for you, and what's gonna end up happening is there's this inspiration, because I feel like you're getting answers to get out of this hole, and practicality, and that's basically It, like my mind just went blank. I'm looking for a word. Basically, it's like, yeah, common sense. It's like the answers are in front of you, but you can't see it because you were too, really too bogged down with looking at the trees around you and not seeing anything outside of that. And I feel like you're getting a higher vision to where you're able to see outside of that. And that's where the answers are going to come in. So let's go to the sun and moon tarot, Taurus.
you are leaning a little too yeah there you go it's much better all right justice there's that balance star ten of wands two of wands that's page of swords princess of swords or page of swords hierophant eight of pentacles six of cups chariot and queen of cups there you go this is the thing before I get into each individual card, all I'm going to say is this. If you see yourself through new eyes, because I feel like this empathy card too. This is listening. You've dealt with listening to what other people have to say about you. And you've been weighed down by that. Your own, um, it's other people's judgments, but you've allowed, there's a small like, voice in your head that keeps repeating it to you to where almost you're adopting it to your own voice where you're believing it empathy though you may be able to see these people through different eyes where they're only thinking that way or they're only saying that because they're worried about me or maybe they've had hurt in the past and they're trying to protect me so it's being able to come to the realization of that but you're putting this down you're putting the burden down of what other people have said about you and sometimes when other people talk about you or judge you, it's because they know your potential. They know you can do it. Um, but this is growth. This is growth to the point to where the, you're in a fast movement toward a newfound love and appreciation for yourself and a love of someone else. That I feel like this is relationship here too. So let's get into each of the cards. Justice, Libra Energy. This new moon, like I said, the empathy, empathy is the energy of this new moon. You're getting balance. Uh, scales of justice are tipping in your favor. This is finding a balance in your life, but finding a balance of how you see yourself, how you're viewing um, the problems that you're dealing with, just everyday situations and finding a balance in that and looking at it through um, new eyes. The star, there's that healing, but getting attention and recognition for the job that you've been putting in, for the work that you've been putting in, for the job that you've done. The star is also healing because you're getting the right kind of attention. You don't have people then pointing fingers at you and saying stuff about you like has happened in the past. There's a ten of wands, oppression. And I like the description of this card in this deck. Because Ten of Wands is a lot of words under the bridge. This is other people saying things to you, you taking it as law or taking it as truth and putting it in your backpack and allowing it to weigh you down. And I feel like you're getting out of that. The Two of Wands is a connection. Now, Dominion talks about this is um, getting control over self. Dominion getting um, basically stepping into like Emperor's Emperor mode. Dominion. But the two of wands is also, it's connecting with someone else on a level that you haven't connected with many other people, if anyone at all. I feel like this is twofold here. It's you reconnecting with yourself and it's you connecting with someone else because the two of wands, I always, I always see this card as mentally, <coughs> excuse me mentally and intellectually feeding one another this is sharing the same hopes dreams the same aspirations the same goals as someone else this is connecting to them in words conversation feeding one another and you go from the ten of wands believing what other people have to say to connecting with this person where you're rising above and really stepping into that mode of um, empathy and seeing things through new eyes princess of swords or page of swords this is a little spy card excuse me <coughs> now I have a tickle in my throat it's like you have to say something you're not saying it maybe that's the two of wands you're afraid of connecting in that way but the page of swords which is princess of swords this is this card it's also changing your mode of communication 
This is changing the way you communicate or uh, um, express yourself. So rather than... It's almost like rather than fight off all the spies or get mad because somebody's spying on you, this is the energy of what are you watching? If you're going to watch me, then take my life as an example. See what I mean? Hierophant, another five. So you have three fives here. This is you changing and basically rewriting the script on your life and how you communicate and deal with other people. This is rewriting the script on your own life. And this is coming to a higher understanding, higher elevation of your life. And really embracing your life as this positive influence on other people. Instead of, oh, they're spying on me because they got something bad to say. Some people are using you as an example, though. And looking to you as an example. An example of strength. An example of endurance. And I feel like you're going to come to the realization with that. And see, prudence. Eight of Pentacles. Eight of Pentacles is really learning something about yourself. This is what you're going to be learning. This really is. Is that other people are using you as an example. There's going to be someone that crosses your path. That's, that's another little area of the Two of Wands. That the person that crosses your path, it may be somebody you know. Somebody you, have, you talk to every day could be that person. Or it could be someone that you haven't seen in a while that pops up and just... And I feel like the conversation is going to go like this. I'm so proud of all of the work that you've put in. I'm so proud of the accomplishments that you've made. Look at how far you've come. That type of thing. If this is really seeing yourself through that person's eyes. And taking a look at what they're trying to draw your attention to. So change the script on how you're approaching like different, how you're approaching your entire life. Six of cups, five of cups is nostalgia. You walk into the past to answer questions, take a walk down memory lane, six of cups. You carry the past with you because the past makes up the entirety of who you are. Six of cups is who are you now in this present moment? Six of cups is also, it's that moment where Take a moment and reflect. This is why when it comes up in romance or, you know, love readings, that it's someone from your past that's returning. But I don't feel like it's that. Could be that. I don't feel like it's that. What I feel like, though, is that this is the past you. This is the past you that you felt was lost and out of touch to you that was just out of reach and that you felt that you were fighting to get back to this is finding that person again finding you and when you rediscover who you were and who you are and and see i like that the definition of here the description of the card is pleasure this is going back to the things that you loved doing the things that made you happy in the past that you may have lost touch with it this is rediscovering that dreamer within you and when that happens this is fast movement forward chariot to queen of cups which is love of yourself newfound love of yourself but this is also really being able to step into a new relationship because you're rediscovering who you were i like i it's like you go through things in your life you lose a piece of yourself when you go through something traumatic, it's a disconnecting of part of your soul. And you have to do a soul retrieval or call that back. And you have to get to the place in your life where you're strong enough to where that broken piece or that hurt piece can then return and heal. Because it's for your own um, safety and for your own healing that it really disconnects from you. So that it can go off and heal or it can be quiet for a minute and cry. I feel like this is you becoming whole again and this fast movement forward into what you love doing and really really find a new appreciation new love for your life and when you do that and that happiness is there you call that love in so this is 
relationship coming in, but it's after finding yourself, rediscovering who you are, um, really finding that peace that you've lost. So let's go to Moon Magic. It's a little inspirational little deck. Let me pull a few cards for you guys. Taurus, two off the top, one off the bottom. Failure is only learning. I move with confidence and resi resilience. Yeah, I can't even talk tonight. Waning gibbous, and there's another five. You see that? This is change for you. This new moon's going to bring in wondrous change. I enjoy the serendipity of life. The unexpected can be wonderful, blue moon. And one more. I assess, I assess, see, tripping over my tongue. I assess matters carefully and discern wisely. What waxing give us, and it's one. There's that one again. If you are seeing repeating numbers, pay attention to them and really look up the angelic um, meaning behind them. So for the collective sign of Taurus, this is your new moon in Libra read. Love and light. 